Hi everyone and welcome! Here is my latest movie review of a Pixar film. This is the second of two Pixar movies that we've gotten this year because last year we got none and now they're overcompensating and they've given us two and more coming in the future. So this is my review of The Good Dinosaur, a film that I did not see in 3D and that's okay. Don't care much about 3D much about it anymore unless it's big and large and in charge and... Oh, whatever. Let's just talk about this movie. So, The Good Dinosaur tells the story of a good dinosaur. But this actually, this film actually raises the question, what if that meteorite, that asteroid, went right past Earth and didn't crash and kill the dinosaurs many millions of years ago? And what if the dinosaurs is, existed at the same time as when humans existed? Now, these dinosaurs, or we actually get to know a, a family of dinosaurs. It looks like, I would guess, uh, brontosauruses. I hope I'm right about that. But, And they seem like they're a, f a small family. You know, there's a mother and a father and three kids and the youngest kid. Actually, they're actually kind of born at the same time. Uh, the, the, the kid that we follow, the dinosaur that we follow, it seems like he is the weakest. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of ambition he doesn't have uh, a lot of hope a lot of prayer uh, a lot of strength he has tons of fear but he's brought in this weird world where these dinosaurs yes they can talk because they have to talk to us because you know i think people will be bored you know normal audiences would be bored if the dinosaurs didn't talk anyways so they have uh, the society where they kind of can farm and build houses build themselves house it's you know it's whatever it's going on some tragedy happens and the dinosaur is on his own uh, especially what happens when he meets a human who acts like a dog he's got a name spot in the movie and they name him spot in the film and then the movie goes from there okay so explain the movie forever and now let's talk about my feelings about it this has got to be the one of the most beautiful photorealistic animated films i've ever seen in my entire life the background and the attention to detail when it comes to uh, the locations in this movie it just looks like they went out into the forest into the mountains into nature into god's country and they shot this thing and then added the computer generated characters later but i want to believe that this movie is entirely CGI, animation, Pixar, they're the best. Uh, and this movie is a great film. It's not one of their best films, but it is very enjoyable, very watchable. I, 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 uh, I, I like the characters, especially the two that we got to know, the dinosaur and the human dog spot. I like the chemistry that they both had. Um, and I like some of the interactions they have with the other dinosaurs. Some of the things I didn't like about this movie or didn't really appreciate that much is the story's not that memorable. Uh, it's not something that really captured my eye uh, or intrigued me or, you know, uh, interests me. But I, I cared that the characters, you know, they're going on this journey together. And the one character, of course, the good dinosaur, I can't remember what his name was in the film, uh, that he's trying to overcome his fears and uh, prove himself and, you know, be who his father wants him to be. Or, you know, what his father uh, wants him, himself, to be, whatever. So, you know, um, I, I, I like the chemistry that these two characters had. I like the, the banter that they had. Uh, but there's some, you know, it's kind of weird. Uh, there's, a, there's a weird look between... Uh, between what the background looks like and what the dinosaurs look like. It's it's definitely different. And I didn't hate it. I, I, I would just say that I didn't love the design, uh, the, the character design of the dinosaurs that much, as much as the background. I think the background is this perfect attention to detail where the characters, they, they look more cartoonish than than the rest than, than the rest of the film you know the rest of the film looks like a photo it's a beautiful visual thing and out of the side characters that we get to meet we get to meet pterodactyls and we actually get to meet a triceratop that was very funny I, I i wish there was more of of that character in the film that that character needed to be in the film more uh then we also get to meet some tyrannosaurus rex is 
Uh, they, uh, for some reason, uh, are going against type when it comes to their main characters, what they're usually known for, but the great voice work of Sam Elliott as the father to Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, is, again, one of my other favorite characters in the film. You know, I, dude, Sam Elliott just could show up on screen and read any boring book. He could read the... Sam Elliott, honestly, if he did a, a, a audiobook for the Twilight books, I'd actually just listen to it. I would. Uh, that would be the only way that I actually would listen to the Twilight books. Uh, overall, this was a very, uh, very fun movie. I enjoyed it. I had a good time watching it. Uh, I I kind of accept it for its problems, for its faults, uh, but I thought it was just beautiful to look at. And uh, there are a few moments in the movie, not entire moments in the film, but there was a few moments in the movie, especially near the end, that I got very emotional. Um, I, I thought that was handled pretty well and I don't know where if they're going to explore this universe again but I would definitely see another Pixar movie about dinosaurs uh, so you know uh, uh, it, it's it's a definitely a mixed bag when it comes to uh, well, the things that I talked about but overall I really did enjoy this film it's just a great reminder of what Pixar is capable of uh, and I appreciate it that they were going in a new idea. We're going to get some more sequels from them. We're getting a new Cars movie. We're going to get a new Finding Dory movie, which I, I can't complain about. Very excited about that. But it's nice to go, especially this year, and see two original films from Pixar, and I look forward to what's next uh, from them. Uh, there was something else I wanted to mention, but... I, oh, yeah, there was a short, a really cool short. So look forward to that. I'm not going to go in detail, but I will tell you, I think I enjoyed the short more than the actual feature and i did enjoy the feature a lot and for that i am going to give the good dinosaur i'm gonna give the film a slight three and a half stars out of four thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video and also please check out these amazing movie websites and if you enjoyed this review Please click here to subscribe to my channel and also please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day, live film, find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.